fucking belief about Keith Thurman. No, I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Looking at my baby. No, no, no. I ain't looking at my baby. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him. Shit, yeah, yeah. I got my shiesty on. Shit, I can't afford to get sick. So I keep my head and everything. My head cold before I leave out the gym. When I leave out the gym and shit, but uh. Shit, most of us can't even afford to die. That shit crazy, ain't it? But nonetheless, Earl Spence, you know, responds to what Blue Blood said that Terrence Crawford said about him. Um, basically said, you know, that Terrence Crawford told him that Earl Spence holding up the fight. He took all the low ball demands and they waiting on Earl Spence to sign the fight. And Terrence Crawford said that... Uh, that um, told Blue Blood that uh, Earl Spence wanted, but his team don't want it. At the end of the day, dude, like I said, if you ain't seen my video yesterday where I talked about how AB and, and Deontay Wilder and Sean Porter did what the hell they wanted to do and went off script, you know, Earl Spence Jr., like I said, I don't blame him for listening to his team. Then Floyd Mayweather tell all them niggas to listen, tell AB you should listen to Allen and then fight Marcos Madonna. And don't worry about it. I seen Coach Malachi video, his live, where he said that Floyd Mayweather said that, uh, he said that Floyd Mayweather said that, you know, fighters shouldn't be taking tough fights. And like I said before, he continued to expose himself. And I'm going to say him for another day, another time, right? Because I've been telling y'all, dude, he, he's a he's a little itch. You know, and I'm leaving like that, and I said itch. But... I mean, at the end of the day, listen to your team. He respond. Him and Tank be on some social media shit like some females, dude. Deleting shit, talking in cold, and all that type of shit, man. Like I said before, this generation of uh, uh, men, dude, man, can't even call niggas like them, man. You know, social media whores. Social media thoughts. Whatever you want to call them. Just come on and say, well, you know, you know, say, say, I don't care what the hell you say, honestly. Come on, say, like, yeah, man, if, you know. And the dude said, I put on the screen. He said, we need you to clear this up. And he says, you clear up what? Something you probably heard on the internet. Okay, dude. And Terrence Crawford out here saying he signed this side of the contract and all that type of shit, right? Um, and he waiting on you. I mean, what, what we waiting on then? But then they want to keep you in the dark and shit, and then they want you to pay for it. Like I said before, I'm very close to not supporting this fight at all. And I don't, and I don't care. You, you probably you don't buy pay-per-views. I don't buy bullshit. That's the difference. I ain't about to support no sport, support, uh, sport that don't support me. I give y'all enough support talking about y'all. And I could have flipped the script and just talked about hip-hop and music and been at 100,000 subs. <laughs> really could you know and i'm gonna have to start listening to some of these niggas albums don't want to but you know it is what it is you know and and he just like i said what's that so i'm like shit i don't know oh, that's a motorcycle but oh, i don't know Mm. Mm. Might be watching. I don't know. Might be seeing for a while. <laughs> but uh, he want to sit here and, and talk on code and say you want me to clear up something probably from the internet and all that shit. Cool. You gonna clear it or you not gonna clear it? As simple as that. You want to address it or you not gonna address it? Then don't tweet nothing. Don't tweet it. You know, but that's what him and Tank do. Talking cold, talk around shit. If Al Heyman don't want you to take the fight, don't take the fight. What else can we say? He, AB didn't listen. AB got his dick knocked in the dirt. I told y'all, man, everybody know over there at PBC that they don't feel that Errol Spence could beat Terrence Crawford. And Bernie said last night that they aged him out. Duh, we've been telling y'all that shit for years. What you got to wait? To get uh, belt A, B, and C first before you get belt D. That makes no sense. Where is it say that you got to get this in this order? It don't say it to be undisputed. 
told you, dude, these niggas ain't, man, he ain't, he ain't built like that, dude. And it's okay. It's okay. And Terrence Crawford should move on, honestly. Honestly speaking, he should move on. No, and that's my opinion. Don't make it fact. Because he's not going to take it a step further, then we need to start talking about it. And I'm going to talk about that uh, video coming up. If y'all see it already, he don't want to take it a step further. And people say, well, what's a step further? You, well, you need to start ripping that nigga publicly. You know, but I'm going to say that for another video. Oh, it's probably something you heard on the internet. Like I said, man, fuck them in that fight. At this point, fuck them. We're going to keep playing games and all this ring around the rosy and stuff, dude. Those y'all y'all really going to turn off the last handful of boxing fans y'all got left. Think about that. You really going to turn turn down the last few boxing fans that you got left. That's crazy. That's crazy, but I already know how he built. But then, you know, the sad part about it, the thing that's the status about all this is that you still got people that, that believe Earl Spence Jr. Forget it about them saying, oh, it's Crawford fault and all that shit. Cool. That's going to be what it is. But you got still got people that, that still believe it ain't him. You got people that still believe it's Terrence Crawford. You got people still believing that Al Heyman going to deliver something that he ain't delivering this, and shit forever. That's the crazy shit, but them the same people that believe in religious religion blindly. You know that pastor that got robbed, and then the pastor that chastised his uh congregation for not buying him a new watch. Them, them, them type of people. Real talk, them, them type of people. Real talk, them are those type of people that's gonna believe blindly. That's how girl. That's how girls believe. That's what women do. They believe in shit blindly. You play with some words the right way. You play scramble. You put this shit this way, that way. They ain't gonna believe what you say. Why you think the church is mainly made up of women? Think about that for a minute. Same thing. They gonna believe whatever Floyd and Al Heyman say and all this type of shit, and they gonna be mind fucked. That's what it is. They love to be lied to. And then you had a, the majority of Errol Spence fans saying that they didn't want to see the fight. I ain't forget that. Fuck it. Go go move up to 54 and, and go, go, go do what you do. Because I've been knew you was flawed. I've been saying it. From the day I, the, from the day I learned the truth, I, I've been saying it. And it been, it been, I've been vindicated. I've been vindicated. I already told y'all his heart pump pur, uh, purple Kool-Aid. Without sugar. No, he got plenty of sugar in his tank. I've been told y'all that. Everybody at Premier Boxing Champions know it. That's what Tim Smith said. We ain't got no money, all this type of stuff. Cool. They'll never get another dime out of me if they'll make this fight. Never. Never. And niggas acting like, oh, boxing is in a good place. And, uh, and I'm the type of people who don't know nothing about boxing. That's the fucked up thing. They don't have no historical knowledge about boxing none it's not it, it, come on you make big fights now apparently according to coach malachi you got floyd mayweather saying oh fighters shouldn't take hard fights man come on what and y'all believe in him he tell y'all he i told y'all he ain't fight no fucking body bro for real and when niggas he fought they was all old or some shit like that told y'all about him dude that don't surprise me none it's a pussy cat you know, that shit don't surprise me. Same thing, Earl Smith, they cover from the same cloth. Ain't no competitors, dude. There ain't no competitors. And the next generation ain't gonna have nothing, no foundation. They gonna have to get that shit from scratch. Like Jack Johnson, the motherfuckers from the late 1800s and early 1900s. They gonna, man, the kids don't care nothing about boxing. They, they doing MMA in the street more than boxing now. And he told me, you know, it's probably a rumor you heard on, oh, man, nigga, stop talking to Cole to shut the hell up. Pick pick a struggle. You know, it's probably something you heard on the internet and all this type of stuff. And, and, and Come on. 
They PVC telling y'all they don't want to make no fights. And still people who blindly believe in them, dude. Blindly believe in them. You know, but it is what it is. He said he said what he said. And if, if he had to get a word of advice to me, listen to your team. Because at the end of the day, if you go out there and lose, all they're going to do is I told you so. Listen to them niggas. Don't move on and, and go to B route or the C route, whatever route they got you going. Just listen to them. That's what I would do. And make it sooner than later, bro. Because whatever you do, people going to justify. You're not going to be you're not going to be uh, 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 chastised as the bad guy. Terrence Crawford is the bad guy in any scenario. He's the bad guy. So you have popular opinion on your side. As I said, as I coined, he has popular opinion. So instead of you got people sitting around waiting on this fight, that's all we got to talk about. Cool. Just say, you know what, bro? We good. I don't want to fight on whatever, whatever lie you want to make up. If you want to tell the truth, just say, man, we good. We ain't trying to fight him. Cool. We can move on with this shit. And he can move on. And you can move on whatever endeavors you got moved on and we can leave it. We can bury it. Because whatever you do or don't do or say or don't say, bro, people going to ride with you regardless. But I leave with this. The best the best look that you really got, that, that he got in this situation, he better be glad that Terrence Crawford wasn't Latino. He would have been, he better be glad. He'd have been on some type of Miatas and whatever the hell they call him. So he better be glad Terrence Crawford would look just like him. Because had he, had he hadn't, dude, you wouldn't have been able to finesse your way out. This Al, Al Heyman would have goddamn, you know, put that fish batter on your ass and, and, and deep fried you. But then, yeah, I've been to you ain't had no heart, nigga. When you get, when you, when you, you know, when you, when you gave Mikey Garcia Swedish massage, said, well, I ain't trying to knock him out. I've been to you ain't had no heart, dude. You flaw. Straight up and down, man. I'm going to say a whole bunch of other stuff, but dog, can't be disappointed in somebody that we already knew what their character was and what their heart was like. You couldn't hack into high school football, so you got into boxing. That's why Jama you hold that Jamaican flag up there. They should sign a petition to ban you from holding that Jamaican flag, my nigga. Because you don't you don't embody any of the characteristics of, of a Jamaican fighter. And I'll leave it at that. Thumbs up the video, share the video. Dominican fighter made it, but not a Jamaican fighter. But thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notification. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon, the whole nine, all my information is in the, uh, in the link tree, in the description, first link there, peace.